Hey guys, this is Corey with Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas. And today, it is my pleasure to be able to show you this brand new 2022 Salem Hemisphere Model 369BL. This particular trailer comes in at just under 12,000 pounds unloaded and it's going to be about 43 feet in overall length. We're going to do an interior and exterior walk around video tour and talk about some of the really cool features and options that we've applied to this particular fifth wheel. Uh, since it is a little windy, let's go ahead and get onto the inside. We'll start in the living area. And normally this would be the part of the video that I show you what it looks like with the slide outs closed. But as with any big multi-slide fifth wheel with an island, you're not going to get to much. Um, you can always get to the bedroom and bathroom and the bunk room, which is nice, but you're not going to be able to get to the refrigerator or, or anything like that. Now, as we come in here, first thing I want to mention is just take a look for a second at all of these huge windows. These windows are absolutely massive, and hopefully you're not looking at other trailers at a RV dealership whenever you're camping in one of these things, but it gives you so many views and cross breeze at your destination that a lot of people really prefer this style of floor plan. And whether it's a mid bunk or not, um, they, and I really like it because all the windows are on the camp side of the trailer, not necessarily the uh, looking at your neighbors, which is always a good thing. Now, real quick, before we come back to this theater seat, I do want to touch on one of the optional pieces of equipment that uh, we added to this one. Um, we've applied the freestanding table and chairs. And you can get this with a booth. Um, the last one of these, and I will leave a link to that in the video description, mainly because the interior and uh, a couple furniture options are a little bit different than this one. Um, so I'll put a link to that down in the description below. Uh, people either love the booth or hate the booth and vice versa with the freestanding table and chairs. Um, I really like that they have this little bench here and there's storage under all three of these. Um, go ahead and show you that. So you've got storage under both of those. You're going to have the uh, extension leaf with the li simulated live edge there, which is always a really neat feature. And then over here, you are going to have more storage in this bench, which is always nice. That's perfect for some place settings and things like that. Now, if we take a look back at the windows, all of these are going to have the pleated, or no, I'm sorry, not the pleated nightshades, the uh, roller shades. So they're not a day night shade, but they do have the blackout shades, which is nice. Now, today we are looking at the darker interior color. They have two interior colors. They have a light and a dark. Couldn't tell you what the name is of each of them. Um, but you can see that this is the darker of the two. I kind of like it, um, but I also really like the uh, lighter interior color as well. I'm not sure which one I like better to be completely honest with you. Um, now these theater seats, which is a standard piece of equipment, they do not have the heat massage, but they do have the 12 volt lighted cup holders and accent lights underneath, which is pretty cool. You're going to have the wider armrest too, as well as the storage in there. And rather than just talk about it, I'll go ahead and show it to you. So as you can see right there, you've got plenty of storage. Now, if we're being ultra picky, a lot of people don't like the carpet in the slide out. And unfortunately, this one does have quite a bit of carpet in it um, as well in the bedroom. Uh, so just keep that in mind. If you're looking for something carpetless, um, I imagine these guys will probably get to that here pretty soon. Um, I don't have confirmation on that too yet, but... I think they will get to that eventually. Back here, you are going to have a tri-fold sleeper sofa that will come out into an extra bed, which is nice. Um, I really like the dark countertops on each side there. That's something that you get with the darker interior color. Um, and I really like that. It just gives it a nice contrast. You're going to have household and USB outlets on both sides of this. So if you have any guests here, 
that uh, need a CPAP machine or need to charge their phones, they can do that as well. Now, if we look up top here, you can see that you do have a 110 volt ceiling fan. Uh, that's why that light is not on. They do make these in a 12 volt, but this particular one is not one of those. You can also see back here, you have your 15,000 BTU Coleman Q series air conditioner. You have another 15,000 BTU uh, air conditioner in the bedroom, which is an option. And I'll show you where that's located again here in just a little bit when we get to the bedroom. Now, if we take a seat at the theater seats here and we look directly across, you can see that you have your nice jumbotron size TV uh, that is on a swing arm mount. So you can kind of face it more towards the rear sofa if you want to. Down underneath that, you are going to have your AM, FM, Bluetooth, and CD, DVD player, which is always really nice. Um, a lot of brands are starting to take away the CD, DVD function on their stereo systems. So I like that Salem has kept that. And then in here, you are gonna also going to have a... 5200 BTU electric space heating fireplace down below there. That's a good little extra space heater to supplement your propane heat. Now, speaking of propane heat, you can see that you do have cabinet ducted heating here in the main living area. I believe there's a couple places in the upper deck where you have in-floor ducted heating. Um, so this is not completely, you know, uh, cabinet ducted heat source. Uh, or a cabinet ducted heat source, but it is in the main areas of the trailer, which is nice. Love those dual outlets on the island here as well. And I really like their wood color. It's, it, it's more of a distressed barn style wood, and I really like that. Um, that's just my personal preference. Um, let me know what you think of this trailer down in the comment section below. Our, we are always open for feedback too, by the way. But with that being said, let's go ahead now and take a look at the kitchen. And I'll tell you, this has a deceptively good kitchen space. So with all the storage opened up, first thing I want to touch on is up here above the sofa. You can see that all of these have these strut supports on them to hold those doors open. Really good size cabinetry space there. I really like that. Um, and one thing I always forget to touch on in these, because it's kind of uncommon in this price range, this is not a camera trick. That is a vaulted ceiling. It's uh, more what I like to call a cathedral style ceiling. Um, so it's vaulted on the inside and outside. Really neat feature. It makes it feel that much bigger on the inside. Now over here, underneath the TV, you do have a couple little cubby spaces and then you've got the two cabinets right there. These do have the slow close hidden hinges, which is nice. Um, as you can see, like so there. So those are going to keep themselves shut as you're going down the road, um, unlike a traditional hinge. Now, all of this is pressed membrane thermal foil style countertops. You, uh, The benefit there is if you spill a drink or something, you can wipe it up and it's not going to you know, pop any tea molding off or anything like that. Now, a lot of people are gonna ask, is there a solid surface option? There currently is not. Um, they, If you're looking for a more upscale version of a Salem Hemisphere, that's the Elite Series. However, not every floor plan that they build in a regular Hemisphere is also built in the Elite Series. They have their own separate floor plans and own, you know they have a little different features from one another. This one is not able to be built in the Elite Series currently. Now, down here, you've got three full extension plywood box, ball bearing drawer, guided drawers, plus the handy pots and pans drawer there. Over here, good countertop next to the sink. Or, I'm sorry, the stove, not the sink. And there is not, oh, there it is. Um, there is an electrical outlet over here, so perfect space for a coffee maker. I always forget that it's back there. And then above that, you have another pretty good little cabinet right here. Again, those hidden hinges. Microwave, hood range top. And then you've got your three burner cooktop with the glass cover. So that will fold up and back like so. 
and then you're going to have the oven down below in case you want to do some baking. That is a Furion appliance too, which is a little bit better than some of the other brands uh, out there on the market right now. Now, as we come over here, and this is always so tricky to get with the camera, but for some reason, and this is something that I personally don't like, I wish they would put a door here. I understand why they didn't because of this little beam thing that sticks out. But it would have been nice to have a door here just to keep whatever is in there, uh, you know, when you're going down the road. But you still have extra storage there. And then underneath the sink, you have plenty of room for a wastebasket. So that is always a nice feature there. One basin sink, you do have the roll away drying rack, high rise pull out sprayer faucet. And then you have this humongous pantry. You are gonna have a bonus drawer down here, which is really cool. You don't always get to see this in a pantry. But as you can see, you have plenty of room for all of your dry goods, cups, dishes, plates, whatever. And it's got a handy motion sensor light up here. So it's, a, it's got a three-way switch on the back side of here. I've got it in motion mode now, but you can have it on on, off, or motion. And I just realized I forgot some lights. There we go. Um, and then you have this nice cubby hole up there. Um, that would be good for stuff whenever you're at a destination. Not so much, you know, f permanent storage for things just because it, uh, it is open and they could fall off onto the top of this slide out. But overall, it, this has got a ton of storage. Now, let me close this door up so we can take a look at the refrigerator. Those are just held in place by magnets, which is pretty cool. So this has the 14.7 cubic foot Furion residential refrigerator. You get to look at my goofy face again. Um, now, if we get in here a little bit closer, I want to go ahead and show you all of the options that are on this trailer. That way, you, when you're out there comparing, you can see exactly what options the trailer you're looking at has. And then if we take a look down here at MSRP, you can see that this one has an MSRP of $94,444. I really wonder if they plan that on purpose, but that's beside the point. Now, we are not selling this for MSRP. We are a discount dealer, so we work off of um, a pretty hefty discount. Now, as I've said in several videos before, and I'm going to keep saying this, because these li videos live forever, we do not post sale prices in our videos. If you're interested in what our actual sale price is, feel free to give us a call or an email um, at 806-335-2336, or you can shoot us an email at contact at custom-rv.com. So again, this is a 14.7 cubic foot fridge freezer. I'll go ahead and open up a couple of these doors for you. So you can see there is one portion of the refrigerator. And here is the other portion. So really good, good space there. And then I think this is really cool and I'll just open this one side, but you've got extra drawers on both of your freezer compartments, which just helps organize everything. Um, again, which is always handy. It's always easier to organize stuff when there's, you know, dividers and things in these refrigerators. Over here, you've got your thermostats for both your air conditioners, your ceiling fan control, handy coat hooks right inside the entry door. Then you've got your awning and slide out controls, some lighting controls, water pump, water heater, 12 volt tank heaters. That's a really cool thing that Salem Hemisphere does. Then you've got your tank monitoring panel up there. And then lastly, you've got your one control uh, system for your automatic leveling. And I'll touch on that more when we get to the outside. But that is basically the brains for the auto leveling system. And I think one of the things that makes this particular floor plan so popular is the entrance to the mid bunk is not into the kitchen. It's off right inside the entry door. And the reason I say that is you that super nice pantry that we just looked at, if the 
entrance is where that pantry is, you don't normally get that. So that's one thing I think a lot of customers really like. Now in here you have the Versa Queen. That will come out into a 60 by 74 inch RV queen bed, or it's a sofa, or you can remove it completely and make this into an office conversion. This is one thing you don't have to take something apart to turn this into an office if that's what you're gonna do, if you're gonna be more of a work camper. Now, obviously, if you're gonna pull this out, keep everything, you know, the pillows, everything, because if you ever go to trade this in, you're gonna to wanna to put that back into the trailer. That can actually hurt your trading value by as much as 30 to 40%. And if you appreciate that little industry tip, uh, feel free to hit that subscribe and notification bell down below. Now up above, you do have the flip up muck. I have it in bunk mode today. And then you can see you have an emergency egress window over there. Now, over here you do have a handy power outlet for the bottom bunk. I would have liked to seen a power outlet up here in the slide out for that top bunk. That just would make things a little bit easier for whoever's up in this top bunk. If we come back over here, you're going to have TV hookups and USB ports. Nice little desk area. You know, if, the, if you're traveling with the kiddos and you're doing a little homeschool or if, you know, um, they're doing some remote learning or something, you can uh, kind of set them up there. And then over here, you have a ton of hanging storage for the kids clothes. These do have the mirrors on each door, which is nice. So I really like that. And then down here, you're gonna have a heat vent down there and then you have two of these big deep drawers for some of their toys or socks and underwear or things like that. And again, you've got the slow close doors. Now, one of the things, like if you compare this to an Arctic Wolf 3660, their headroom in the bunk area is a, about three to four inches taller than this. And the reason I prefer this um, setup where it's a little bit lower is because you get so much more room in the loft where I can actually get up there. I'm 6'2", and I can actually get up there and sleep comfortably if I had to. Um, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here real quick. As we go up in there, you'll notice the floating steps, which uh, is more like a shoe garage love this big window right here now it doesn't open but it lends in so much light and and everything which is nice now i really like that the ladder is up here instead of down on the main level so it's a shorter climb to get in and out of the bunks for the littles but as you can see here let me get a better uh, angle on this Pardon me. Um, but as you can see here, you have tons of headroom here. And, and a, a grown adult can sleep up here, or a couple of grown adults can sleep up here, which is always a really good thing. Um, you've got that shelf up there. I believe there's USB ports and household outlets up there, but I don't know why I'm blanking on that. Um, I don't know why I cannot remember that. Anyways. Um, you've got a light up here, AC vents up here. And then you've got that little kind of porthole skylight window up there. And this is about a queen size bed, teddy bear bunk mat, which is super soft, super comfortable. Uh, I really like that. And I think this is one of the best executed bunk house arrangements in a mid bunk that I have ever seen. Okay, guys, so as we step into the bathroom, first thing you'll notice, now you will have more uh, room around the toilet with those drawers shut but I wanted to give you an idea of what that looked like when those are pulled out a little bit. But it is a porcelain foot flush lever toilet. Plenty of room around there, both leg room and uh, side to side. You've got two full extension plywood box ball bearing drawer guided drawers, which for some reason is so hard to find in a lot of fifth wheel bathrooms. Good linen cabinet space. And as you can see, that goes way back there. You still have all these nice hidden slow closed doors. Uh, on, or hidden hinges, I should say. You've got the very nice size shower with the seat in it, tri-slide glass door, 
And I really like the placement of their skylight. It's right underneath the shower head where you're most likely gonna need it if you're taller. Um, so that's really cool. You have about six, oh, I would say six, six in here is the tallest you can be and still shower in here comfortably. You're also gonna have this rain censoring fan up here, which is pretty cool. And then back over here, you're gonna have your medicine cabinet. Thermal foil press membrane countertops, stainless steel sink, good storage down there. And that is a terrible spot for that toilet paper holder. Um, I don't know who came up with putting it there, but that's awful. Um, that, you know, I've got long arms and that's kind of hard to reach for even me. Um, but good storage in there. You could always put a small little trash can over here. Um, which is always a good thing. What I would do with this just put it on the door. Put it on the back side of the door. I think that would make a lot more sense there. Now, as we come into the bedroom, first thing I want to mention, you do have carpet here. I get it. Not everybody likes that, but it is what it is. Some people actually love it. Some people hate it. Every RV is the best for a different reason, so just keep that in mind. You got a three full extension plywood box, ball bearing drawer, guided drawers up here at the front, thermal foil countertop there with uh, TV hookups right up here. TV backer up there on the wall. TVs are not an option in the bedroom. Now, we'll come back to the closet here in a minute, but this is a 66 by 80 Olympic queen bed. So it's not a, it technically is a queen. It's not a king, but you do have a couple of side stands there, kind of mini side stands. If you wanted to put a 70 by 80 inch king there, you could remove those side stands and do it. Personally, I would just leave it the way it is. You are gonna have household and USB outlets on both sides of the bed. There's your slide control and your, or your lighting control and your slide out control there. Cross breeze windows on both sides of the bed. I love that headboard there too. And I always forget a couple extra lights in there. Big window up here. I really like this. A lot of brands have kind of started to get away from that. I just think it's neat. Little boot bench there to put on your pants and shoes. There is not storage underneath that, by the way. That's to hide the plumbing for the washer dryer. Now, you can put a stackable washer dryer in here. Personally, I don't like the way those function. So, I don't recommend them, but I know some people have had good luck with them. I just haven't seen that from our, you know, service records on some that we've installed. You've got a light there, your King antenna, a couple extra outlets, hanging bar. And I really like this post here with these couple of uh, coat hooks there or robe hooks. You're going to have your um, shoe organizer up there. And then you can kind of see it uh, back in here, but that hanging closet goes all the way over there. Um, this is a true walk-in closet. I can stand up in there and I'm six foot two. And then back over here, there are electrical outlets and household uh, outlets back over there as well. Storage underneath the bed too. Um, actually, I believe those are in the closet, but there are, again, there are outlets out there or over there. So, with that being said, that's going to wrap it up for the interior of the 2022 Salem Hemisphere Model 369BL. Let's go ahead now, jump onto the outside, take a look at some of the outside features there. I'll keep it brief since it is kind of breezy. Bear with me with the wind noise. Uh, let's go take a look and see what you think. Okay, guys, so we're back on the outside of this brand new 2022 Salem Hemisphere Model 369BL. So, starting up front, you have a nice full fiberglass front cap with LED lights. That is a fully painted fiberglass cap, which is nice. Down here, you're gonna have some storage with your battery boxes and spare tire in there. You're gonna have a little convenience light down here. And then up here, you have your automatic leveling controls. So easy to get to, uh, not inside of a storage compartment. I really like that. Coming down this side, you have your shaded pet tether. These are all the key to light system, which is really cool. And then you've got your pass-through storage. So in here, as you can see, you've got plenty of room in here, no plumbing obstructing anything. Um, you've got your 1000 watt inverter, a light, your cap light switch, battery disconnect, and your solar charge controller. 
for your 100 watt solar panel that's up on the roof, which is, again, a really neat feature. We got outside speakers here, slam latch doors, magnetic hold backs. You're gonna have two power awnings, and I apologize again for any wind noise that the camera's picking up. Two outside speakers, you've got a TV uh, mount location right here with the cable and satellite hookups, as well as 110 power right there. In here, it's gonna be more storage, plus a little outside mini refrigerator. Coming down over here, I love their large entry assist handle. It really comes down quite a bit. You're also going to have your four step more ride step above steps. Good looking aluminum wheels. Again, six point auto leveling. Right here again, you can see those nice big windows and then you've got your second power awning on the face of the slide out. Those both do have LED light strips in them. Back here, you're gonna have a two inch accessory hitch that is not designed for towing. Ladder to get up on top of the fully walkable roof. And then you've got a backup camera prep location right up there. Back over here, you are going to have your 50 amp service. Three slide outs on this side, one slide out on the other side. You can see again, you've got your six point auto leveling. There's a better look at those wheels. I really like those. Now your dump station is underneath a slide out. So just keep that in mind, um, but it's not the worst that I've seen. And then as we come up here, you are gonna have your gray and black tank dumps right here. Notice the gate valves themselves are up in the underbelly. And then speaking of the underbelly, this has the accessibility, which is four by eight sheets of ABS plastic, which is a really nice feature that a lot of higher end fifth wheels are using. 10 gallon gas electric water heater with direct spark ignition. And then in here, you are going to have your unified docking station with all of your uh, fresh water, city water, black tank flush, all that good stuff, water heater bypass, outside shower, winterization ports, um, all kinds of stuff in there. And I really like that these doors swing open, which is nice. And then up in here, you're going to have your two 30 pound propane tanks. So that's going to wrap it up for the 2022 Salem Hemisphere model 369BL. I uh, tried to keep the exterior tour a little briefer than normal since it is so windy. But if you're interested in this fifth wheel and you have any questions or if you would like pricing and availability, I'll leave a link down in the description below where you can check that anytime. You can also give us a call at 806-335-2336 or you can shoot us an email at contact at custom-rv.com. As always, guys, at Custom RV, we don't do any hidden dealer fees. We leave that up to the big box dealers, and we know that RVs are made for women, so men can go camping. If you can do me a favor real quick before you leave, hit that like button down below if you enjoyed this video. And if you appreciate the fair and unbiased reviews, feel free to hit that subscribe and notification bell down below and follow along. Again, guys, we thank you very much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed uh, and sat through this kind of windy walkthrough tour today. We hope to see you out on the lot very soon. Remember our spring RV blitz is January 10th through January 17th of this month. And have a wonderful rest of your day.